Well, Alabama has one of the highest rates of poverty in the country. And to tackle this persistent issue, WSFA 12 News has launched a new series. Tonight, we're sharing the stories of some of our neighbors struggling to get by and balancing multiple jobs to make ends meet. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts shares their stories and solutions. Jesse Malasham's lawnmower is another paycheck for his family. He works seven days a week at a grocery store, then cuts yards at night to make ends meet. About three yards, about three, sometimes about three a week. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a big help, big help. Even with two jobs, Malasham has to watch what he spends. He rarely fills up at the gas station. He puts only what he can afford in his tank. I used to put about five, maybe 10. That's what I usually do. Gas and groceries are two big expenses for Malisham. To help put food on the table, he visits a local food bank. Every penny, really every penny count. Especially the price of grocery now. Everything's so high. The price on a lot of stuff double. You know why I buy egg was so high, it cost more than a gallon of gas. It's hard because everything's going up, uh, nothing's going down. Gary Haskew also frequents the food bank. He's on disability, but picks up odd jobs to help pay the bills. We are a person helping them uh, move cars at the car lot, uh, uh, take a trailer to some place where he needs his bush hog. Multiple job holding has become more prevalent in the U.S. economy over the past two decades. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, more than 400,000 Americans work more than one job. I wouldn't know where a lot of stuff would be coming from, that it would be a struggle day from week to week. Families who are on a budget don't just grab what they want when they come to the grocery store. They're checking the price, looking for items that are on sale. It's more about the cost than what they are craving. Just can't afford it. Like steak, you can't. <laughs> Sometimes pork chop stuff so high, stuff you can't afford it. In Alabama, one in seven people is food insecure, according to Feeding America. That means they lack access to enough food for an active, healthy life. Food banks like this one are shown to reduce food insecurity. For Haskew and Malisham, they are thankful for the work and the generosity of others. A little bless, a little bless, a little big help. I thank God for them. I know the Bible says, to be, um, they who not pay on you more than you can not handle. So I'm just thanking God that I can handle it right now. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. In the coming weeks, we will continue to highlight how poverty in Alabama is affecting some residents. You can find some resources if you'd like at WSFA.com slash overcoming poverty.